Welcome back. If you've just joined us, we've been looking at the administration of the FCT and especially the Abuja Master Plan. And our guest has been the FCT Minister, Mohamed Bello. Now, affordable housing is one big issue and uh, it's one tale of, um, that comes with a lot of uh, untold stories in terms of the low income earners perspective about living in Abuja. It's almost like passing through the eye of a needle. So what are you doing to ensure affordable housing for the masses? As you know, nationwide, there is a huge housing deficit. That has to do with the expansion of the nation over the last few decades, population expansion. And of course, a lot of the rural urban drift, you know, everybody wants to be in the urban area. Abuja is particularly so because it's the center. Uh, it's, like I mentioned, it's very secure. Everybody wants to be here. So the pressure on housing is tremendous, like you have rightly mentioned. Unfortunately also, over the last few years, most of the housing developments were private sector driven, individual owner built houses, tailor made to the specific needs and, and requirements of the uh, and the of those that build them and then uh, investment tended to be towards high class expensive houses which of course is difficult to be affordable to many people and that's why a lot of interventions have been made by a lot of government agencies for instance previous administrations had given out land to cooperative societies of many ministries and, and ministerial I mean, and government agencies. Some are in the pipeline, some are already under construction. As an administration, what do we do? What we do is to encourage any new applicant for permit to go into mass housing or related building. We encourage them to go for the lower income group because that's the group that really, uh, to a large extent, has been shut out. Upper class houses, as a matter of fact, there is a glut in Abuja because so many of the houses are empty. Let's come to security now. So what are you putting in place to secure Abuja? Relatively, Abuja is a very secure city relative to so many cities in Nigeria. And it's secure because of deliberate attempt to make sure that uh, security is given paramount attention. The advantage we have in Abuja is uh, all the security agencies of the military, police and paramilitary all, are all headquartered here. So the securing of the city is basically some kind of joint arrangement with, with, with these agencies. And they've been doing a good job about it and it's something we are very conscious about, especially of course the, the president is here, this is the capital city, the diplomatic community is here, and above all Abuja is the eye of the nation, you know, so we try to, you can be rest assured that uh, with respect to security we are doing tremendously uh, putting a lot of tremendous efforts and pressure to make sure, I mean, and, act, and, and effort and resources to keep the city secure. Before we wind down this conversation, street hawking is one issue that has been a bizarre signpost in Abuja's FCT. Uh, we've seen this happen in many intersections in Abuja. So what is the FCT position on this? What are you doing to forestall all this? Unfortunately, street hawking is a very unique, I mean, it's, it's a very common urban phenomena that is to a very large extent also very, very, not Nigerian, it's very African. And it's something which is a result of the urban, you know, rural urban migration and the, the pull by, by cities and also the issue of urbanization globally. We've tried and indeed many administrations have tried several strategies to, to eliminate this uh, with some reasonable level of success. And if you notice, during the last few months, a lot of effort has been made by the administration to, to, to do that. But we have realized that for you to truly eliminate street trading, you need to give them alternatives. Because basically, street traders are trying to make a living try to to, 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 to to earn some income to, to, to you know to so to speak to keep head and soul together. So what we are trying to do is to create informal markets for traders 
where we put in the basic infrastructure in terms of the stalls, even if they are just open stalls that at least will cover you know the products from the elements of the weather. Honorable Minister of Federal Capital Territory, Mohammed Bello, thank you so much for making our time to be part of this episode of Question Time. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, thank you very much. It's been my pleasure. And that's it on this episode of Question Time. You may also send us a comment on our various social media platforms showing on your screen. Join us next week on another exciting episode of the show on Channels Television. Many thanks for watching. I'm Benga Ashiru saying goodbye. Thank you.